वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज अनदर वीडियो फॉर यू थर्सडेज फर्स्ट वीडियो थ्री न्यूज स्टोरीज फर्स्टली एडिस अबाबा टू मकैले फ्लाइट्स आर स्टार्टिंग टूडे दो बुकिंग क्लोज टिल द फिफ्टींथ ऑफ जनवरी ऑल फ्लाइट्स आर बुक्ड and now ethiopian airlines has uh, increased the price of ticket from addis ababa to makale 100% increase is being seen is ethiopian airlines making money while tigrayans outside tigra are desperate to see their loved ones the government should try to lower the prices of tickets but uh, there is increase details for you secondly while internet is being uh, restored in some parts of tigray like shire uh, mobile networks are being restored as well uh, but in some areas people are still searching for mobile network signals we have some pictures of for you from uh, a town in tigray and third libyans oromo liberation army fighters have been seen in vashiva around 50 kilometers away from addis ababa pictures of oil fighters uh, have been seen uh, from this place uh, 50 kilometers away from addis ababa details for you Firstly, viewers, uh, before these three news stories, today is Thursday, viewers, twenty ninth of December, and two days ago, Ridwan Hussain, uh, Ethiopian National Security Advisor, said in a statement that by Thursday, by the twenty ninth of December, uh, Tigray fighters uh, would surrender heavy weapons, and by Thursday, by twenty ninth of December. Ethiopian National Defence Force would enter Makale. So today we could see some developments on the ground. Uh, will TDF respect this deadline, which TPLF agreed with Ethiopian uh, flag representatives a few days ago in Nairobi? Can so in coming uh, hours we'll try to update you about these two likely developments which could happen uh, today. both are very important uh, surrendering of heavy weapons and entry of ethiopian national defense force in makale now three new stories first one is about resumption of uh, direct flights uh, for passengers from addis ababa to makale two days ago announcement came about resumption of these flights and on thursday today first flight will take off from addis ababa and arrive in makale Uh, so far one flight a day schedule has been announced by ethiopian airlines but all flights are sold all tickets sold out till the 15th of january no tickets available when ethiopian airlines announced the resumption of flights to makale from addis ababa what was the price of one way ticket from addis ababa to makale the price was 3445 ethiopian birds what is the price now before recording this video i checked uh, ethiopian airlines website available ticket was on the 16th of january before that all flights sold all tickets sold and on 16th of uh, january uh, tickets are available for 16th of january tickets are available but uh, price of one way ticket from uh, addis ababa to makale which i saw is 7164 ethiopian birds and uh, i'll be able to fly to makale around 20 days if i get the booking today it means that the price of one way trip from addis ababa to uh, makale it has increased by around 100% from 3445 ethiopian birds to 7164 ethiopian birds it means that 
100% increase is being seen. Uh, is Ethiopian Airlines making money? People in Addis Ababa, in other parts of Ethiopia, they are desperate to enter Tigray because their loved ones are there. Still, in entire Tigray, uh, network has not been restored, mobile network. So people want to see if their loved ones are alive or not. So, in this time of crisis, uh, those who want to visit Tigray should be helped by the government. Why can't the government announce a subsidy for a few days? Subsidy of a few hundred, uh, uh, a few thousand Ethiopian birds for those who want to fly to Makale from Addis Ababa. Just for just two, three, four weeks. It would be uh, a great gesture of uh, uh, trust, a great gesture of uh, friendliness from the Ethiopian government towards the people of Tigray. It should happen. And secondly, Ethiopian airlines should also be checked. It is increasing uh, uh, ticket prices by 100%. That is unfair. Secondly, uh, those who want to reach Tigray by air must be careful. Some fraudsters are uh, sharing messages that they are renting uh, a chartered plane. Uh, for a flight from Addis Ababa to Makale, and that is why people uh, should uh, deposit money with them. They should, th these are fraudsters. People should be careful. No chartered flights are going to be allowed from Addis Ababa to Makale. Only Ethiopian Airlines is operating. Only one flight a day. Number of flights could be increased, should be increased in coming days. Secondly, viewers, while mobile networks are being restored in parts of Tigray, still in several, in majority of the areas of Tigray, people are searching for mobile network signals. Uh, mobile network restored in Shire. In Shire, mobile internet has been restored as well reportedly, but in southern Tigray, uh, some pictures are being shared where people can be seen hoisting their mobile phones on wooden sticks uh, on some pipes to receive mobile network signals. Uh, the pictures you see on this uh, on your screen are from Kakofto, which is in southern Tagaray. And here you can see how people are trying to receive mobile uh, network signals. Uh, because mobile network has not been restored so far. I think no restoration in Koram Elamata as well. Uh, their uh, electricity was restored in Koram Elamata, Makale. But mobile networks have not been restored in southern Tagaray in Raya. That is why people are desperate to reach out to their loved ones uh, outside Tagaray, outside Ethiopia as well. Thirdly, viewers, the pictures of Oromo Liberation Army fighters are being shared from Vashava, uh, where OLA fighters can be seen standing in front of a government building. Vashava is in central Oromia, and uh, we know that in central Oromia, a top OLA commander was fired, Jal Sanye. After that, Jalmaro appointed three new commanders in uh, Central Romia. OLA has long been trying to consolidate its territorial gains in Central Romia from Western Romia. It's a stronghold. OLA has been trying to move towards uh, Central Romia, Vashiva, because Central Romia is critical if OLA wants to reach Addis Ababa, Fenfene, which is OLA's stated goal. The pictures are from Mitarobi. Mitarobi is in Vashiva, around 50 kilometers away from Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital is this place, Mitarobi, where OLA fighters can be seen. We have uh, seen OLA fighters uh, 40, 50 kilometers away from Addis Ababa in the past as well. But OLA uh, could not remain in control of areas close to Addis Ababa. OLA fighters share pictures, uh, they carry out some operations and then they disappear. That is what is happening mostly in the areas close to Addis Ababa. Because OLA is not in a position 
to remain in control of large territories close to Ethiopian capital. Well, his main stronghold is Western Romania. Even there, uh, sometimes oil well, fighters enter cities and then they would drop, like in Nakamte, they entered and they carried out some operation. They would draw in Gimbi as well. Uh, so it's difficult for them to remain in full control of Nakamte. They could not. And uh, from areas in West Shiva, they keep on sharing their pictures. But uh, we cannot say that they are in control of large territories in West Shiva. They have their presence. We must not forget that they have their presence in Western, in, in West Shiva, in Santa Romia. But they are not holding uh, large towns and cities here. Thank you for watching.